Hey guys, Cindy out of here with my Artsy Endeavors. How are you doing today? I'm doing okay. Um, I'm going to talk about this week's prompt for my creative year. And it is the galaxy around you. Now, as you guys know, I've been focusing on the chronic pain. And um, last week I shared with you my studio tour which, believe it or not, a lot of that's changed, so you're going to see some updates here toward the end of this video. But um, what we're going to do is we're, right now we're going to talk about the galaxy around me. Now, like I said, I focus on the chronic pain, and the reason I focus on that is I'm hoping to be able to help um, help people. That is, that's my primary goal, is I want to be able to help people. So if anything you know, that I've learned um, dealing with this this wonderful issue of chronic pain, and I'm trying to be nice about it. <laughs> um, if anything I have learned will be able to help you, that's, that's my goal. So, let's see, what color am I going to put with this blush? I'm just thinking. It's not going to work. Um, let's see. Not like that either. Da, da, da. Let me think. Let me think. Maybe a light. Let's just start with the blush. Um, I just have a piece of scrapbook paper here, and I just want to put some more color on it. It has been um, coated with a gesso, a clear gesso, and I actually did that uh, way before um, we did any. You know, I did any uh, work on this. Um, I did it a long time ago. Now what I did is I just stuck my uh, paintbrush in some water just because I wanted to just kind of do a wash of this color because I like those little dots that are in the background so I don't really want to cover them up. So I just wanted to do a light wash. So I'm just using some water, spreading out that paint. So my galaxy around me. When we focus on the chronic pain, that is a lot of different things. Everything from, um, you know, medications to ice machines to TENS units to you name it. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to bring out the stencils that um, have been created for me. Uh, this one says pain, ouch, throb, burn, tired, ache, numb, sad, and chronic. This one is has uh, medication on it. It has band-aids and it has a tissue box. This one has a cane, some prescription bottles, some ice cubes. And this one is just plain chaos, which I thought was really cool. A lot of fun. So let me dry this up. We're going to go ahead and create a paint, uh, page around what is in my galaxy around me when it comes to chronic pain. I will be back. Right, so I'm sitting here thinking about my galaxy as I'm drying this, and I love this chaotic, um, I actually believe um, this one was named Chaos. I kind of like this chaos. So what I'm going to do is, again, I just put some water on this, and I don't really want to, I want to see if this works. We're trying something. We're just going to try, right? We're going to do some chaos. That'll work. So basically, I'm just taking some of this paint, um, and pretty much it's watered down quite a bit. And I'm not doing anything solid. I'm just kind of bebopping here and there just to give it some kind of a breakup on the background. See that? That's pretty cool, huh? Let's just break it up down here. So yeah, these stencils, um, someday my husband might decide to sell some of them. I'm not sure yet. Um, he's talked about it, but we'll see. I will let you guys know if he ever does. So um, yeah, he, got, he made these for me because I was actually talking to him about um, chronic pain and the fact that there weren't any stencils out there. And he says, oh yeah, there will be. So that was that. All right, so I'm gonna let this dry. Let's just wipe this off. Oops. All right, 
so let's take that off there. All right, so I just wiped that off a little bit, no big deal. All right, let's dry this up real quick. Actually, before I dry this up, what I'm gonna do, like I said, I'm sitting here thinking about my Galaxy. So I've got my fine liners here. These have golden fluid acrylics in them. This one happens to be teal. Um, and what I wanna do, I'm gonna create my Galaxy. Here's my Galaxy, all right? Let's get some little, little, other planets, I guess, whatever space is in my galaxy. But this is my main galaxy right here. All right, so we've got that on there. Now I want to, bear with me, I am going to, come on. This is the only way I can put these on is actually lay that against my finger and then use my finger to guide that pin in. It's the only way I know how to get those back on there because I could try for hours. All right, let me dry this up real quick. I'll be right back. All right, so my paper's bent up. So what's in my galaxy? You guys pretty much know. Uh, my galaxy has got lots of paint in it. Um, I'll be honest with you, I'm being wide open honest here. Yesterday was one of my very, very difficult days. You know, sometimes you just wake up in the morning and, you know, you just feel like, I, I, I'm I, some, <laughs> how do I explain this? I would love to just wake up in the morning and feel good. I'd like to wake up in the morning and feel um, just no pain and and that's never going to happen again in my life and it's such a difficult thing to be strong sometimes it's it's very very difficult it's really hard at times to be that strong because you know you just it's just not fun I'm just throwing some turquoise um, dots on here just because I can and I'll get it all over everything else including my phone my coffee cup, you name it. Yeah, I'm still working on my coffee this morning. So yeah, you know, there's there's some days that you just, hmm, yesterday was one of them, I just didn't, just wasn't feeling it. I wasn't feeling, I didn't want to deal with the pain. I didn't want to deal with just all the feels that go with the pain. It, it just wasn't, wasn't there for me yesterday. And um, it was very difficult. It, when you have days like those, those days are really hard. And they're hard to, um, to keep going. The heck is that? Um, you know, you just, you just want to, sometimes you just want to give up. It sounds awful, but it's true. And yesterday was one of those days. I, I was... I'm tired. I'm tired of, you know, waking up in the morning and, and feeling everything that I feel. It's just, it's difficult. You know, I do, for the most part, 99.9% .9 of the time, I stay positive and, and I don't have an issue with that. But it just seems like, you know, sometimes those days just show up and there's nothing you can do about them. They just, they show up, they're here. And they're like, okay, wahoo, you know, you feel like crap all day today. You know, you don't want to move. You don't want to smile. You don't want to, you just don't want to. <laughs> That's the easiest way to put it. So, um, yeah, those days are in my galaxy also. You know, they, um, they happen. I'm not sure what I'm doing here. I'm just, right now I'm just playing with paint and just having fun. You know, when I think of galaxy, I just think of all this just stuff. So we're just, we're, we're galaxy in it right now. I'm just having fun playing with the paint, I'm having fun with the process. And I, you know, I really hope that's what you guys understand about my creative year. It's, it's just have fun, enjoy the process, enjoy you know, taking out your paints and, hey, what can this paint do? What would, what would happen if I use this paint, you know, to do it this way? That's what the process is all about. So, you know, don't let um, a prompt or uh, 
uh, you know, a topic, shut you down. Just enjoy it. Have fun with it. Play with it. See what you come up with. All right, I'm off my soapbox for that. I just know some people are like, well, that prompt doesn't talk to me. Okay, it doesn't have to. But if I say the word galaxy, what do you think? Do you think of an old car? Do you think of, you know, space? What do you think about when you say galaxy? Or who's in your who's in your galaxy? Or what's your galaxy like? You know, what do you think about when you say that? Or when you hear those words? I like that. I think that's kind of cool. All right. So let me dry this. And then we're going to start putting down things that are in my galaxy. Which are all of these lovely things. And we're going to have to get some more of these made. Got to talk to the hubs. So, all right, I will be right back. All right, so I'm going to use this navy blue for my items in my galaxy. And again, like I said, you guys know we're doing the chronic pain. So, we've got these items in our galaxy ice. I don't know what I'd do without ice. Um, ice is amazing for my back. It really helps take down that um, inflammation. Uh, it really helps to get my body to relax and just allow, um, you know, my muscles to relax and allow my back to relax. And because without the ice machine and the ice. Um, my back is just like a rock and the muscle spasms just are crazy. Oops, that one I got too much paint on. Let's see if I can mess this up. I got way too much. I don't know how I did that. Let's see if we can wipe it off. Yep, we can. See, even our galaxy has ways to get rid of things. <laughs> So let's I'll wipe this off on the back because I'm sure, yep, it's gotten through on the back. Don't know what I did there. All right, so we're going to put this, that's all right, we'll leave, no, we're going to put it there. I want this dry though, I don't want to wet this. Hold on. Death called indecision. It's called, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, no. <laughs> so, um, like I said, my ice machine is is definitely a huge part of helping me deal with the pain on a consistent basis. Um, I don't have any paint on there. Uh, my tens unit, which I actually don't have a I don't have a stencil of my tens unit. My tens unit is huge um, when I have to go out. There we go. Uh, when I have to go out in public and um, my back just thinks it's not going to work that day, um, my TENS unit is is great in helping me, um, helping my back allow the muscles to stop spasming and to um, help it just relax, relax, you know. So. Again, my TENS unit is a big part of my galaxy. Um, my cane is a big part of my galaxy. Um, I also have my handicap tag for um, the car. There's a lot of times I'd like to go somewhere, but I can't walk that far. And it's very difficult. So um, my doctor has given me... Um, a, a handicap tag which let me tell you it's it's amazingly helpful and it's so funny because you know you well I um, <laughs> I'll pull into a handicap parking spot and I get the dirtiest looks <laughs> and then I'm just like mm, sorry guys <laughs> you know it is what it is so and then once I get out and start walking around they're like oh I see okay she can't walk <laughs> got it <laughs> So it's just, you know, it's funny how people judge others, but whatever. Um, so anyways, back in my galaxy, um, that those pills didn't turn out very well up there. I'm not sure why, but I'm going to leave them.
because it is part of who I am. Um, or part of what I have to deal with daily. Not really who I am, but you know, you know what I mean. So, and also the tissue box. Now, um, you know, unfortunately with the, with, with chronic pain, with, um, the pain itself, with all of the issues, um, there are tears at times, no doubt about it. So I don't want it to disappear the fact that we do have the tears because they're there they're not going anywhere um, that's just part of the chronic illness so I do my very best come on, uh, to stay as positive as possible and um, trust me like I said there's days when I just mm -mm, Positivity is not in my vocabulary. So it's just, it's it's difficult. There's days that life is really, really difficult when it comes to living in this, this type of stuff. Now I kind of want, kind of want these to stand out a little bit more. So I'm just going to take down the background a little bit. Just... What I'm doing is this is um, the brush that I was using that was wet earlier and I just wiped it off on my, my rag I have sitting here and now I'm just putting it in some, the very tip of the white paint, just a little bit and then just blotting it on my little palette here and it's just giving me this really nice white coat. Um, just a, you know, I love it, looks great. Now it's funny, I know there's some of you out there in the My Creative Year that you're like, oh, I wish she'd stop talking about chronic pain. Mm, I'm sorry, that's my focus this year. And, you know, I do lots of other art, so if you want to check out just other art on my YouTube channel, um, feel free. Um, but for My Creative Year this year, this is what I decided to, you know, work with because there are so many people out there that live in chronic pain daily and... Boy, I'll tell you, I wish when I was first starting this journey that I had somebody out there to talk to me because it's difficult. It's very, very difficult. Now I want to take, I'm going to take a smaller brush. Actually, I'll use the one I was just using a minute ago. And I'm going to throw a little bit of water as soon as I find my sprayer. Make sure that's H2O. And I'm just going to um, do a little bit on that blue because I want a little bit of a wash. Just a little bit of a wash for some of these. Come on, where's my blue? Give me my blue. So I don't really want to lose the, the shape of the object, but I just want to color in some of that orange. There we go. My ice cubes. Love, love, love ice cubes. Gotta love the ice cubes. Medications, I try um, not to take them unless I absolutely have to. Uh, with that being said, there are certain ones that I have to take daily just to be able to get out of bed. Um, and then there are some of those that I can just, you know, only when I absolutely have to do I take them. This I'm just gonna kind of give it a little bit of something here. Now, if you notice, I'm not filling in. I'm just kind of giving it so they stand out a little bit more. And then I'm actually gonna do some journaling on here, which I think um, should be part of anybody that's dealing with chronic pain. Journaling is huge. Um, I I. Actually, it was funny because the other day when I was moving stuff around here in the studio, I thought I started journaling kind of like after um, all this happened, but I did not. I actually found journals back from 2001, and I didn't get hurt until 2012. So, yeah, apparently journaling's been a, a lot bigger um, item in my life than I really thought it was. I always thought it, you know, I'd started, you know, six, eight years ago. But apparently not. So needless to say, I've been journaling for a long time. And 
my journals mean so much because um, if I didn't have my journal, all of these feelings and issues and thoughts would just be bottled up inside my head and they would just go around and around. So yeah, I make sure, um, just like last night, you know, like I said, I had a really difficult day yesterday. And last night I sat down with my journal and I said, okay, this has got to happen. I've got to, I have to get this out. And it, it really was amazing to get it out and get it in my journal and make all of that stuff just come out of my head. You know, it was wonderful. It really was. So, you know, don't forget to grab your journals and, um, you know, let some of it out. Even if you had just have to do it in art, do it in art. You know, that was cute. That rolled right across there. Um, you know, if, if you're not comfortable, you know, writing in a journal, which I know some people are not, um, if you're not comfortable, you know, you don't feel that you have the privacy for that type of a journal, for a writing journal, do it in your art. You can always do a lot of journaling on, on your page and then cover it up and paint. So, you know, don't think you only have to sit and write stuff down. No, you can, you can do this also, um, ooh, just by just by uh, sitting and writing things down on your art and then cover it up with paint and make something pretty out of it. Um, I know that's one of the first things that I did when I started doing, um, I should have did this after I did my journaling, but that's okay. I still have room to journal. I just wanted some kind of dots in here. We gotta have dots, right? I like it. All right, let me dry this up really well, and then I'm going to do my journaling, and then we'll be right back. Um, but like I said, you know, if you can't just sit down and write, and you're not comfortable doing that, or, you know, you don't know what to say, or whatever, try it in your art. Try sitting down and just writing all over your page, all your thoughts, whether it's good, bad, or ugly. Um, write it all down, and then cover it up with paint. And it's amazing how much relief that gets off your chest. So let me dry this real quick so I can do some journaling and I'll be back. Okay guys, so I went ahead and did a little bit of, I didn't really do journaling, I just did, um, I wrote some key things on here for myself. Um, take it one day at a time, smile, go slow, breathe, um, learn patience. <laughs> that is, patience is not in my vocabulary, so I don't know where I'm going to do that, but live each day ask for help and enjoy what you can and really that's what we that's the only thing we can do is is enjoy what we can do and have fun with it right so um i'm gonna let this dry for a bit and then i'm gonna flip it over and of course i'm gonna do my play on the back side so i'm gonna fast forward through that and we'll chat at the end enjoy
Hey guys, so I had fun playing with this. It's just simple and sweet and I had some stuff in my stash that I used up and and it says the most wasted of days is one without laughter and that's so true. So again, I just played around with it. So there's my back side. We already talked about my galaxy of pain. So there's my front side. Now, um, what I want to do, last week I did a studio tour, right? Oops, my movie just came back on. Um, I did a studio tour and when I did the studio tour I just did a video. I didn't actually do a page so I feel like I kind of cheated myself on that. So I've got this extra piece of scrapbook paper here and I'm going to do a page. Now what I'm going to do um, is I have my LG pocket printer here. I actually started this earlier and then my printer died so I have to do it all over again. So what I'm going to do is I went through since I um, this is on and ready since I did the video last week <laughs> believe it or not I've went through and I've done some changes so what I want to do is I want to um, print out some pictures of those changes and put them in my album or in my 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 creative year so let's see what we can do okay it's saying the device is not connected and the device is connected so what this is is it's a it's called an LG pocket printer and what you do is um, you actually set up an app on your phone and what it will do is it will print pictures. Now the pictures are only two by three, so they're small, which is fine with me because I don't want anything really huge anyways. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna print out these pictures and then we're gonna come back and I'm gonna do a page just with the pictures on it and then I'll play around on the back side. So I'll be back shortly. All right, guys, so now first thing I wanna say is these pictures that you're gonna see, they look a little bit yellow. And the reason they do, let me bring it in, is because this is old zinc paper. Um, I actually made a mistake and bought a whole bunch of it, and then I wasn't using my printer. So what happened is the, the paper gets old. Now this is um, one of the newer ones. Again, this one's a little bit old. I haven't bought any more paper. But um, what I wanted to do is I wanted to show you, see how they're yellowed? That is just because of the paper. That's not because of the printer, okay? So that's because I bought too much paper. But um, as you can see, I've changed things around a bit. This is my one corner here. The wall used to be right here on the end of my desk, and I pushed it back against that wall. I moved my printer out. I've got my um, 10 drawers here and my um, toolbox that's got all my mark making supplies in, in here. There's my couch. Um, this is just my little cabinet that I have a bunch of stuff in. And then this is just my little wall of goodies here that, you know, and then the beginning of my closet. So I just wanted to show you the guys those because what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them down on this page. And, um, you know, this is this is part of my, my space. Now, I got this out of my washi drawer because I don't know if I've used this yet or not. But... Not really sure how it's gonna look on this page. Let's find out. Looks just fine. So I just want to put some of this on here because this is this is my happy place. This is my this this space makes me happy. Um, when I come in here, I feel um, calm. I feel at home. It's um, the space where I am the most comfortable. Um, I can just be myself. I can, and that, that's not even the right words to say. I just, you know, I enjoy my space. I enjoy coming into my room. And you know what? I don't know as I want that whole closet, so I'm just going to cut this part out. Because like I said, this is just my little room. Um, my little thing there at the beginning of the door that's got a bunch of stuff on it. This one I'm going to cut down a little bit just to take off the white, take off the bottom of the cabinet, maybe take off that piece of the cabinet, and let's take off the stuff on top. So I just wanted to create a place, um, 
you know, in my My Creative Year journal for my space because that's, you know, what last week's prompt was, was, you know, um, sharing my space. So I just want to want to create a page and it's all good. That's what we do. So this one, I really don't have a whole lot to take off. Maybe that there. This one, I'm just going to kind of cut these drawers down a little bit. This is my palm tree I got. You see it? It's actually teal. I got it the other day when Jeff and I were out wandering around. We went down to a place called Murals Inlet and checked out some antique shops. And then, of course, this is my home away from home. This is my desk. And this is where I enjoy being. So, first thing I'm going to do is figure out how I'm going to put these on here. That's going to go in the middle because that's the heart of it, right? Yeah. So, now this is... Um, I hope this is sticker paper. Yeah, this is sticker paper. Um, some of my old zinc that I have is not sticker paper. So then I actually have to use tape to keep them down. But these are all sticker paper. And like I said, these are really, it's just old paper. That's why it's yellow. Uh, at this point, you know what? I'm going to use the paper. It's fine. It's just for an art project. It's not like I'm doing anything, you know, crazy. So... Yeah, we're just going to keep using it. I love this. This is something I've always wanted in my art space was a, a couch where I could just go and sit down and sketch or chill out or watch a movie or whatever, read a book. Just I just wanted that space, and I love that space. So that's going to be right here. This is my cabinet. Um, some of this stuff in this cabinet like for example these this canister set um my youngest son made for me when he was in school so i mean everything in my studio um has some type of a meaning to me or um, it makes me happy to look at it so whether it be the art on the wall or like right in front of me i have <laughs> i'll show you like i have this little guy and he just makes me happy. He's got an art palette on him um, with his, his hair. <laughs> I just think he's cute. Is he adorable? I don't even know. Somebody found this for me. I think a friend of mine found it for me. But I just, I absolutely love him. So he just sits there. So like I said, everything in my studio um, either makes me happy or gives me pleasure or, you know, I enjoy looking at it. So that's why it's here. And I really hope you guys have a space like this because, um, yeah, having your own creative space is amazing. This one is not like my other one was up north, but you know what? Hey, it works. I can be creative. I have fun. That's all that matters, right? So what are we going to do? I want to somehow outline these. I don't know as I want to use... I've got this tape here. Let me see if this will work. No, I don't want to do that because that's, that's just an awful lot. Is it? Let's see. Let's see. So anyways, I just wanted to, like I said, create this page. And um, I know it's not this week's topic, but I'm going to do it anyways just because I can. And just enjoy that's all have fun that's what we're doing right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish up this page and then of course I'm gonna play on the back side of this because I don't want just a blank page in my book that wouldn't be any fun I don't think so I will go ahead and do that and I will chat with you guys at the end and we'll just uh, do a real quick review of what we've done and I will be back. Enjoy!
guys so here is this week's I'm done um, I had a blast with both of these so let me go first this is back to last week um, bring you out just a little bit um, again I felt kind of like I cheated myself so I decided to do a page of my room and how I have it set up right now and again um, like any of the artists out there know we're constantly changing so this won't stay um, I almost guarantee it but this is where I'm at right now so I enjoyed doing that and it just says my space this side was just my play and I put cherish every moment and give thanks and this is just a magazine clipping that I had and just some stickers and I played around with some stencils so that was fun so that was last week this week is um, our galaxy and mine is a galaxy of pain unfortunately I was trying to figure out what that was and it's the heart on there so um, so you know I did use the stencils and I've got a few things on here for me to listen to breathe take it one day at a time that kind of thing enjoy what I can and ask for help when I need it and of course patience yeah we know that's not gonna happen but you know hey I try <laughs> um, the back side again I just played around with some of my stash um, this says the most wasted of days is one without laughter and um, boy that's very true so I hope you guys have enjoyed this week and last week <laughs> and as always thanks so much for watching check out the other artists um, for my creative year and we've got a lot of great talent out there this year and it's just been a lot of fun so um, again thanks so much for watching don't forget to like comment share subscribe thumbs up all those happy stuff down there at the bottom and as always if you have any questions leave them in the comments below I'll be glad to answer them for you and uh, don't forget to have fun that's what life's all about and happy creating I'll talk to you soon bye